Hello everybody, this is Barbara aka Picky Chick and I am here today to do an unboxing of a five pound DIY jewelry box from ThreadUp. This particular box is from Phoenix, Arizona. I am just going to get right into it, open up the box. The first piece I pulled out here is this gold tone bobble bar necklace with multi pendants. You can see right there, there is one missing. Maybe it's in the bottom of this box here I, I uh, spilled out, but it's very pretty. Here's a better look at those pendants and you probably noticed that there is a tag on this, brand new and no price. So let's just keep going, see if we can find that missing piece right here and see what else is in the box. The next piece I'm pulling out is this cup bracelet. It has little paw prints on it. How sweet is that? And a, a white enamel with black paw prints. And the inside is marked. And that says rustic cuff. It's in very good condition. And by the way, I forgot to mention, if you see anything that you might be interested in purchasing from this video, you can send me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. It's right here on the screen. And you'll also find my email address in the description box below the video. This next piece is a multi-pendant necklace. And it has like a textured, almost like, um, it's made to look like a druzy or a rough cut stone. I think that's acrylic, but they're really pretty in that goldish orange set there. It's a gold tone, and let's put this down. It's very pretty. Uh, it's in really great shape. The gold tone on it has no wear on it at all, and I am seeing a jewelry tag. The tag says Jane Stone, which I am not familiar with, so I will look that name up. It's a very attractive necklace. Um, I will be putting that in my cell pile. And I wanted to also say, if you hear dogs barking, I introduced my two new dogs in a video, one or two videos ago. So you might hear them barking and I will be showing them either at the end of this video or maybe as an intermission, we'll see. Here's a necklace new with tags, Fashion Nova LA. So I'm guessing that's just a costume brand. Multi-layer gold chain, really good shape. There is, this says homegirl right here, and then we have a heart and a cross charm dangle. So this is attractive, let's see if there's anything. There's nothing on the back as far as price goes. I may try to sell it by itself, or I might just put that in a lot of wearable jewelry, we'll see. Look at all these faux black bracelets. So they're definitely plasticky feeling. Um, they look like in their great shape, might even be new. Sort of a biker theme maybe. There are some skull and crossbones on this one and there's a skull center on this. But all of this is going in the craft lots. Very lightweight and I'm not going to um, try to sell these. Why does this necklace remind me of mid 80s Madonna? <laughs> Uh, this this might have something to do with it, this little tool flower. But we have a hematite tone chain, multi-layered with pearls and ribbon. Um, gonna put that in the craft lot. There are definitely usable pieces for a crafter in this one. Here's a stretch bracelet, how light, which is faux turquoise. And um, not bad for a crafting piece. I am gonna put this in the craft lot. This next piece, as you can see, is a watch. There's not a name that I'm seeing on this one. It's kind of got a gold tone, like an antiqued finish on it. I do like the style of the bracelet watch, uh, but it is kind of loose, you can see that. And it's not running, so you could probably pop the back off and put a new battery in and have it work. But I am going to put this in the craft lot. All of these items are going in the craft lot. They're actually good craft lot pieces. The components are in quite good shape, very usable. In fact, this one's wearable. This is a little choker necklace from Charming Charlie's. That's what it looks like up close. And then there are multi-chain, there's a multi-chain necklace there in gold and green. And well, you can see what we have, lightweight uh, faux pearls. All of these are going in craft. 
Here's a pretty statement necklace. There are three, I'd say floral-like pendants, two shades of blue and sort of a, a translucent green. Sterling, I'm not sterling, silver tone, I should say, metal. It's in really good shape. There is no name on it. We see a lobster clasp. Here's a better look at the pendant. It looks like all the stones are there. We even have little crystal accents there I didn't see on the first look. So this is cute. You know what I've been doing lately? I started a big uh, lot of statement pieces that aren't necessarily name brands like this one. And I was thinking maybe grouping them in three or four and selling them. I don't know, what do you guys think? Think it's worth doing that? Here is a watch that I really like. The name is Fossil, so it's a Fossil brand watch. You can see that second hand moving, so it is working. I love the look of this. Isn't this cool? Um, so we have these little round uh, links. Some are polished silver and some are more of a, like a brushed silver. And again, there's the Fossil name on the, the uh, clasp. And this is great. This looks like it's in really good shape. It's an F2, so I guess Fossil has like a sub uh, category. I don't know. I'll look it up. But in any case, I really like this watch, and this is definitely going in my cell pile. Check out this bracelet. This is nice. This is a clamper bracelet or a hinged bracelet. There's the hinge, and there's this mesh uh, design. I really like this. It is an excellent shape. Not seeing a brand name on it or anything, but uh, I just like the style of it. I'm going to try this on. Oh, I really like this one. This is a keeper. Not necessarily for me, but a keeper to sell. Anybody out there like this as well as I do? Next, I am pulling this bag out. It was just like this in the box. Or in the bag of jewelry, I should say. I should be careful because sometimes when they're in bags, there could be some loose beads. Let's see. Don't seem to be any loose beads. This looks like a vintage necklace. Here's an up close look at all the beads. They are acrylic or plastic, and you can see some gold tone accents, some gold bead caps, um, different shapes of beads as well. These are all in yellows and golds. And um, interesting, there is the clasp. I do think that this is a vintage piece. I don't see any name on it. But, um, yeah, I do think that this is a vintage long necklace, and I really like it. Here's another bag. Looks like another necklace. Take a look. And it looks like it's in brand new condition. There's a little tag right there. Let's see what that says. Ah, uh, that is a Premier Designs tag. See the little PD and then the, the laurel at the bottom? That, that right there. Yep. So it's a real colorful link bracelet. These beads are definitely acrylic and some of them are foiled as you can see in different colors. So yeah, I think this is brand new. So I don't know how many Premier Design lovers there are out there. I know the, the brand does have a following. So maybe sell this one. I don't know. Here's a little pendant I found. This is cute. So it's open. You can see there's light coming through it. Let me see if I can get that focus better. There we go. And there's a flower design. We have a bale attached. I'm not seeing any name on the bale, but it's cute. So I can put it with a chain or maybe just sell it by itself. We shall see. This is a cute pair of earrings. We have pink enamel dangle drop earrings, a gold hook or ear wire, I should say, and they're in fabulous shape. No type of chips that I'm seeing, uh, no name on the back, but those are cute. They're, they're very tropical. I like them. Okay, guys, more craft lot pieces. These are all bracelets, very inexpensive bracelets. Now, this is a wooden bead with Chinese script on it. Really cool for craft pieces. And, of course, this rhinestone bracelets all stretched out but you can definitely harvest those rhinestones and some skinny bangles and a pura vida i don't know if i'm saying that right there's the p um kind of a well it's wearable but 
too much light there, huh? Um, it's wearable, but it's a little bit faded. So all of this goes in craft. Here are four pairs of earrings I find very attractive. None of them have a name brand attached to them. They're all in very good shape. Um, you can see there's like a rainbow tassel chandelier style earring here and some faux turquoise little drops with the gold coin. And I love these and I've been finding a lot of them lately. It's kind of that, um, it's acrylic and can't think of marbleized. That's not what I'm looking for as far as the term, but anyway, you get the idea. And then uh, these earrings, they are gold with little peach dots on them. And then they're connected by silver tone, uh, little links that are textured. So all of these are very pretty. I would sell these as a lot. In fact, if you're interested in this lot, I would sell this lot for $10 plus shipping. There are my two angels right there, and every time I come near them with the video camera, they seem to get up. Let's try this. Okay, it's raining today, so we have some rags right there by the door. They like their little feeties and their little bellies. Are you going to stay still while I film you? You want to be on Mommy's YouTube channel? Say hi to our friends out there. Hi friends, hi mommy's friends. This is Callie and that's Rusty. And they love each other. I'm sure you'll be seeing plenty of them on my channel. They do a lot of play fighting. So uh, when I show you some videos of that, it looks like they're killing each other, <laughs> but they love each other very much. Um, they are half Chihuahua and we know that about the mommy. And the daddy, the vet, is pretty sure that um, is their doc that he's dachshund because they have really long bodies. And I got them at the end of December of 2021, so I've had them going on five months. And what else? They were two and a half when I got them. They'll be three in August, and they're adorable. They're my new two new babies, aren't you? Callie, Rusty, good doggies. Isn't this an interesting bracelet? It's got the pearls running down the center and then these little spike dangles on each side. What else? We have like a hematite colored crystal on each side of the pearls and a fold over clasp. It looks like you have the option of taking one of these out to make it adjustable. But I am seeing somewhere on those little spikes. Let's see if I can get that to show up. You can probably see that there. So it's a no-go as far as resale, I think. And if I can get that into focus, I see a name right there. Stella and Dot. So while it's very pretty, I think it's kind of in rough shape. So I'm putting that in the craft lot. The next piece is this necklace. It's a purple agate slice. And the chain that it's on is plastic, and I just saw that it's, it doesn't belong to this pendant. See how they kind of just strung it right there, when actually it should be dangling on a chain from this little hole right there on the bale. But in any case, look at this. I turn it over, and this has a J carved in it, or engraved, I should say. So um, this is very cute. I definitely could find a chain to go with that, or just sell the pendant as is to someone named J Jane or Janine or you get the idea. One of my very favorite things to find, turquoise. This is a vintage turquoise ring. It may be Navajo and see that setting, that sawtooth setting uh, around that turquoise cabochon right there? That is vintage. And I like this. This is a bypass ring, which just means that it's a wrap around, and it, that gives some flexibility with sizing. Um, it is signed. See where it says Sterling JP. So this is actually very pretty, and I'm going to get the ring sizer out right now. So I'd say right now it's at, at seven and three quarters, easy to push it to an eight and probably could push it even further down. Let's see. 
So yeah, maybe even up to a nine. So that's the beauty of bypass rings. Now this does have, it's not perfectly, um, see where it's bent, it's not perfect, perfectly round for the finger, but it's really a non-issue and you could work with it and just uh, get yourself a ring mandrel like this, a metal one, and just put it in and turn, turn, turn while you're pushing the ring against it and it will help a lot in getting a perfectly round ring shape. But this is gorgeous. More craft pieces, very usable for craft. This is all in a tangle, but it's got some stones and some little charms dangling off, acrylic stones here, seed beads, and you, know, you could use even the lobster clasps on, for craft lots. And then three sort of best friend themed necklaces, like a Claire's kind of thing. So all this is going into craft. Here's one of those necklaces. They're aroma therapy necklaces. I'm not sure what you call them. But see where that medallion design is? Well, there's holes in there, and this opens up. I'll try to open it. Um, and you can put fragrance in there. I think there's a piece of material or something in there uh, that you saturate with an oil. But And the chain is in pretty good shape. We have a silver tongue chain like so. Let's open this baby up. I don't like using my nails, so hopefully I'm going to be safe with this thing. Yikes. Oh, for heaven's sake. Maybe I should try my nails. Uh, they break so easily. Ah, uh, nope. Ah! <laughs> I kill myself, aren't I? Let's see. Okay, got it open. So see, yeah, there's like a felt little tab in here. It looks like um, putt-putt grass. You know when you play golf putt-putt? And <laughs> you have this fake grass. Okay, it's just me. I know I'm being silly. So you put fragrance on that, probably some sort of oil. Has a little magnetic closure there. Spent way too much time on this. I probably won't even be selling it. Well, maybe I will. We shall see. The next item is a very delicate necklace. It's a beautiful chain. And, of course, Linda as the pendant. So it's a name necklace. That does look like a sterling stamp on that little tab there. I will check it out closer in a second. And as you can see, there is a spring clasp. There is the 925 stamped right there on that tab. And if you can look at that spring clasp, you're going to see the same 925. This is a very sweet name necklace. It's super delicate. I just like it. I like it that it's so understated. Um, go ahead and put the magnet on it. Yeah, there's no magnetic pull, which tells me it is sterling silver. This is a keeper. This is a bracelet I really like. There's no name on it as far as a brand, but it's quite unusual. I like it. There are these little tiny gold tone coins and then these acrylic crystals. I believe it's black. I'll have to get a closer look at it, but this one definitely I want to try on. I think it would look much better on an arm. Let's take a look. There it is on my arm. It's kind of got that boho belly dance feel to it. I like it. What do you guys think? Here's a really sweet pair of earrings. We have a turquoise bead and then a conch shell charm hanging off each one. Let's make sure that we have focus here. These are so cute. There is a French hook ear wire and I'm going to get my, where's my magnet? Let's get the magnet and well, we have no magnet, mag, meh, magnetic pool there. And I believe these are sterling silver. I'm going to put these down and show you maybe a close up against the white background. There we go. This will stay in focus because there's not my hand moving around. Uh, so I really like these a lot. I'm going to just test those ear wires. Yeah, I think these are sterling silver. Um, I like them a lot. Great nautical pair of earrings there. That conch shell is super cute. So, you know, this lot does have a lot of craft in it, but enough pieces like this so far that I'm still very happy with it. And speaking of craft, all of these pieces are going there. Now, these are very wearable and cute. They're slightly misshapen, so someone can definitely work with those. This is wearable, faux turquoise. 
missing piece on these earrings. Perfectly good bracelet. Once it's restrung, it's all stretched out. And the rest I'm just going to call miscellaneous. Craft lot, here you go. Next is this Alex and Ani bracelet with a Hams of Charm, floating charm. The metal on it is pretty worn out, so I am putting this in the craft lot. This next piece is a chunky yellow beaded necklace. It's vintage style, kind of a 70s vibe there. It's a very simple design. I like it. It's in really good shape. These are lucite or acrylic beads, the gold spacer bead ball bead in between each one. Similar to the previous necklace, the yellow one, we have these two white ones. Now these are pretty inexpensive, really lightweight. This one's from Claire's and this one has no name, but um, it'll work in the craft lot, I'm sure. Here's another bag of things. It looks like earrings. I'm going to dump them out, see what we have. I think this would work best if I try to pair them up and the next thing you will be seeing is an organized pile of earrings. So here are all the pieces in that bag. They're all earrings except for this little pin right here which is a cross pin and it looks like so. And the other thing I want to add is that come on focus there we go is that I separated uh, all of these items these are non sterling silver and these are sterling silver now out of these non sterling there is a Robert Lee Morris studio pair of earrings that I would normally try to sell but they are just so worn and darn this focus come on now uh, they're pretty worn, so I am going to go ahead and put those in the craft lot. These are Liz, come on, <laughs> sorry guys. Let me put it up closer here and then try to focus. These are cute. These are Liz Claiborne earrings, two-tone, and they are clip-ons. And as far as there's not much to report about anything else over on this side, just some costume fashion pieces. Now let's come over here. After I organized these earrings, I did take a minute and I tested them for sterling silver. So all of these are definitely sterling silver except for this. Let me pull this closer. This is just a single earring. There are some stones in it. I haven't tested the stones to see if they, they might be diamonds, but what I did notice is on the back, I hope you can see that, that it's stamped 10 carat. And then there are a couple of other marks on there that I'm not sure what they are. I have to check into it. So pretty cool. As I mentioned, the rest are sterling silver. Now, three pair, these three pair here are definitely vintage, and I do want to show you those close up. So here we have sterling silver triangular earrings, and I believe that's bronze going across. Uh, these are not marked, but as I said, I did test them, so they're sterling silver. Here's the next pair. You can see they need to be cleaned up. They have some I don't even think it's tarnished, but I think that'll clean right up. But these, I believe, are Navajo. I don't know the right way. Let's see. Let me see the back. Well, the back post is exactly in the center. I thought it was going to give us a hint as to if it was on the end at how you would uh, wear it. But anyway, here's the design. And on the back, these are also marked. Here's the sterling mark on one earring. 
and the other earring has this stamp on the back. I have to look more into what that what that is. Uh, if you guys know, please do leave me a comment down below in the comment section. And this is a smaller pair of button earrings. Again, I believe they're Navajo. They tested a sterling, sterling silver, as I mentioned. And here's what the back looks like. Now, these didn't come with earring backs. And there is... There's a mark in the back, or maybe more than one mark. Let's see if we can see that a little bit better. There it is. I do see a number five, which might be 925 right there. But above that is another mark that I can't quite make out. If you guys have any clue, let me know. And then we have these sterling silver open hearts. I had a pair just like this in gold in the 70s. Here's a look at the back of the earrings and they are both stamped with 925. I really love the pendant on this. This is a wrap bracelet and I think this is faux leather. You can see it's sort of pebbled in brown, but this is a wrap bracelet. Let me see if I can kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on. Here we go. So I just really like the pendant uh, or the centerpiece here it has like an abalone stone and you can see all the different colors. All the stones are faceted and it's a triple wrap. I like this one. Here's a nautical themed cuff bracelet. It's got like a burlap type of fabric and then these cowrie shells and shell buttons little faux pearls or seed beads that are, are faux pearl. I like this one. Now it does have, mm, I guess that's not really a, that's glue. I take that back. So that'll come right off. So this is in pretty good shape. This is a very nice bracelet. This is um, gemstones. Or I should say these are gemstones. We have carnelian, lapis, malachite, tiger eye, um, carnelian probably and I'll have to see what else might be in here. I saw the tag already. It's Silpata and let me show you what that tag looks like. There it is right there and that means that all the hardware and all the silver metal you see in this bracelet are sterling silver. Very nice. Check it out. Another one just like the one we just saw. There's the first one right there. And there's, yeah, we have two of the same exact bracelet. How cool is that? I'm happy about it. This is a very pretty necklace. I'm not a big fan of that ribbon. I don't like ribbon typically on necklaces, but these beads are super pretty. They're very slick, very shiny. And the color is like a purple, like a silvery purple or a dusty purple and i like it i really like it there is a tag on there and it says j crew cuts now i'm not quite sure about i don't think i've ever come across j crew cuts i'll look it up to see why it's not just plain j crew but in any case i like this one here's a look at those purple beads so pretty this next item i'm showing you is a super long and i think it's longer than normal oh Pocket watch fob, if it's something else, let me know. I'm pretty sure that's what we have here. I just never seen them this long. Uh, it's in really good shape. It feels very well made. It has some substance to it. Uh, the gold finish on it looks spectacular. So who knows? I probably should look into different sizes of fobs and list this in my eBay store. This is a pendant strung just on a black cotton cord. Now this pendant is glass and I am definitely going to try to get this as focused as possible. Look at that. It's a, a jellyfish inside of this little clear capsule like pendant and I just think this is super cool. Really neat. Next is this gold delicate chain with this bar pendant. The bar is like a brushed finish on it. And uh, there's definitely writing on that spring clasp right there. I'm going to try to show you, but it's super hard to see because it's a little bit uh, worn out 
and very tiny. We'll see if we can make any of this out. It is, as I mentioned, very hard to see, but maybe uh, if I can keep my hand still and get some focus here, someone out there in my YouTube family can <laughs> make something out. I'm pretty sure it has some sort of gold stamp on there. And here we have it on the table. I'm taking the magnet to it. And I, I am certain that there's gold content. I just have to get a handle on what kind of gold and if it's gold plated, filled, or actually like a 14 or 10 karat gold, 12 karat gold. We'll see. Here's a beaded stone bracelet. And I did test these. I pulled this out and ran the other room and tested. That is sterling silver. All of these beads in between are also sterling silver. Now this stone is quite interesting and frankly I'm not quite sure what it is. Let me see if I can get a close up here. Uh, it's gorgeous. You can see it's it's almost marbleized, almost metallic-y looking. I can't, I don't know how else to describe it. But if you guys might uh, give me a hint if you know what this stone might be, I would certainly appreciate it. It's, got some great weight to it and it's a nice bracelet. Here's another bracelet. This is a pearl bracelet. It is vintage and you can tell by this clasp. It's a sort of a lobster clasp but I believe uh, this is called a kissing clasp. I might have that wrong. Seems like the word kisses in it so, so I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure of that but it's definitely a vintage piece. It's very delicate and sweet. Here's a beautiful link necklace. This too is sterling silver. I did test it and you can also see there's a 925 mark on that lobster clasp. But um, it's very pretty. It's got this gorgeous blue faceted stone that I think could be aquamarine. Very, very nice. I love it. I love this bracelet. Here is a look at that bracelet on. It's just beautiful. I am loving this pendant. This is a dichroic glass pendant with gorgeous colors, blues, purples, a little bit of green, some pink, some black. So beautiful. It feels kind of heavy and I did think it could have been sterling silver, but again, I tested this and it is not sterling silver, but it is certainly a piece of art and it is gorgeous. Following this is one more cute 10 second video of Rusty and Callie. I hope you enjoyed meeting my new puppies. Also, let me know what your thoughts are on this box. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.